Hello students, how are you all doing? I hope all of you are doing really well. So students, in this class, we are going to continue the chapter, The Happy Prince. This is the part 2 of The Happy Prince. So in the previous part, students, we have seen how the swallow was ready to go to Egypt. As it was winter in the city, he was feeling cold. So he wanted to go to Egypt to his friends and enjoy with them. Enjoy the good weather of Egypt. But every time he was ready to fly, Happy Prince asked him to stay with him for one night and help him and become his messenger. So let's see what happens whether the swallow stays with the happy prince for one more night or he flies to Egypt. So let's begin. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, said the prince. Far away, across the city, I see a young man in a garret. So happy prince wanted the swallow to stay. And now he is stating the reason why. What does he see? What does he see and why the happy prince wants the swallow to help him? He is describing what he is seeing. Far away, across the city, he see a young man in a garret. He is leaning over a desk covered with papers. And in the glass by his side, there is a bunch of withered violets. So what that man is doing? He is leaning over a desk which is covered with papers and there is a glass by his side. There is a bunch of withered violets. Withered means dry and wrinkled. Okay. Violets is a flower. Okay. So he is saying that there is a bunch of withered flower. You can see the person he is talking about. He is trying to write something. He is looking very tired. Okay. His hair is brown and crisp and his lips are red as a pomegranate. And he has large and dreamy eyes. So the happy prince is describing the man. His hair is which color? Brown colored. And it's crisp. His lips are red. And as red as a pomegranate, he is comparing his lips with pomegranate. It's a simile. As red as a pomegranate. And he, had he has large and dreamy eyes. He is trying to finish a play for the director of the theatre. But he is too cold to write any more. So what the person is trying to do? He is trying to finish a play. Okay, he is writing a play for the director of the theatre. But he is feeling too cold and he cannot write anymore. His hands had become cold and you see what happens in winter season. You might have also experienced that you can't write when your hands are very cold. So same thing has happened with this boy. There is no fire in the grate. And hunger has made him faint. I will wait with you one night longer, said the swallow, who really had a good heart. So as the happy prince describes that the man is dying of hunger. Hunger has made him faint. There is no fire in the grate. How will he complete the play? His hands are too cold to write anymore. So with this, the swallow decides that he will stay with the happy prince one night longer. So students, what can we conclude with this? That the swallow had a very good heart. His heart was, he was full of kind. Oh yeah, sorry, he was full of kindness. He wanted to help others. Isn't it? He asked if he should take another ruby to the young playwright. Alas, I have no ruby now, said the prince. My eyes are all that I have left. 
So the Swala remembers that he has taken the ruby out of his sword hilt and given it to the seamstress. So similarly here also he is asking for the ruby. Should I take the ruby and give it to the playwright? But as you know students there was only one ruby with him. So prince says no I don't have any ruby now. My eyes are all that I have. You can only take out the eyes because they are made of sapphires. They are a precious gem. They are made of rare sapphires which were brought out of India a thousand years ago. He ordered the swallow to pluck out one of them and take it to the playwright. He will sell it to the jeweler and buy firewood and finish his play. So the happy prince thinks that the sapphires are of great value. Of course they are. They are a precious gem. So when he'll get the sapphire, the playwright will sell it, he'll give it to the jeweler, he'll get some money, he'll buy his the firewood and then he will be able to finish his play on time. Dear Prince, said the swallow, I cannot do that and he began to weep. So the happy prince said that please take out my eyes. To this, swallow says, Dear Prince, no, no, I cannot do that. I cannot take the eyes because if he takes the eye, he will be blind. Okay. And he started to cry. You can see how good heart uh, Swallow had. That he started to cry. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, said the prince. Do as I command you. So he's thinking when, uh, when this Swallow started to cry, he said, that, don't cry. Just do as I command you. So the swallow plucked out the happy prince's eye and flew away to the young man's garret. It was easy enough to get in as there was a hole in the roof. The swallow did as he was commanded. He took out the prince's eye and he flew away to the young man's garret. It was very easy for him to get in the house because there was a hole in the roof. The garret is a small dark room at the top of the house. So you can see the swallow had taken out one sapphire from his eyes and is now flying to help the playwright. He is taking the sapphire in his beak. Through this he darted and came into the room. The young man had his head buried in his hands. So he did not hear the flutter of the bird's wings. So what happened? The swallow entered into the uh, playwright's house and the young man was having his head buried in his hands. So he did not notice or hear the flutter of the bird's wings. And when he looked up, he found a beautiful sapphire lying on the withered violets. So he has dropped the sapphire. As you can see, he has dropped the sapphire over there. I am beginning to be appreciated, he cried. This is from some great admirer. So since he was a playwright, he used to write plays. So he's thinking that I am beginning to be appreciated. People are liking my work. I'm sure this sapphire has been sent by some great admirer who has liked my work, who has appreciated my work. He's ha really happy. He has taken the sapphire in his hands. And you can see the playwright is really happy. He has some money now. Now I can finish my play. And he looked quite happy. The next day, the swallow flew down to the harbour. He sat on the mast of a large vessel and watched the sailors working. I am going to Egypt, cried the swallow. So, swallow went after he has delivered the uh, sapphire. He went and he sat on a mast of a large vessel. And he was looking at the workers, the sailors who were working. And he's saying, oh wow, I'm going to Egypt. Finally, the day has come when I'm going to Egypt. But nobody minded. And when the moon rose, he flew back to the happy prince. So he went to the happy prince too. Can you guess? Why did you go to happy prince? 
Yes, because he wanted to say goodbye before he go to Egypt. So you, you can see the one eye of the prince is gone. He, is, uh, he has only one sapphire in his eyes. And there is a swallow. Maybe he is bidding him goodbye that he is going. I have come to bid you goodbye, he cried. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, said the prince. Will you not stay with me one night longer? So again, this was the statement of the uh, prince, happy prince. He is saying that, will you not stay with me one night longer? Again, he wanted the swallow to stay, to become his messenger. It is winter, answered the swallow, and the, and the snow will soon be here. So, the swallow replies, it is very cold, it is winter and snow will be falling very soon. I will be feeling very cold. In Egypt, the sun is warm on the green palm trees and the crocodiles lie in the mud and look lazily about them. So, the swallow is saying that it is very cold, it is very uncomfortable in this place. In Egypt, it is very warm. The weather is very good. All my friends are enjoying and having a very good time. The crocodiles, they are lying in the mud. They are very, you know, they are roaming around very lazily. They are having a good time. In the square below, said the happy prince, there stands a little match girl. She has let her matches fall in the gutter. And they are all spoiled. So as you have uh, guessed by now, that whenever, whenever the uh, swallow makes up his mind that he is living for Egypt and he comes to say goodbye, he comes to say goodbye to the happy prince, he requests him to stay with him for one night longer. And he knows that the swallow bird is very kind hearted. Every time the bird is ready to help the happy prince. So he gives, he tells him the emotional scene that he is seeing in front of him. He told him story of the seamstress, he told him the story of the young playwright and now we see there is a little match girl whose story is being described by the happy prince to the little swallow because the happy prince wants that the swallow should help this girl too. So students, what do you think? Should the bird go and tell a happy prince that he is going and say goodbye or he should not mind and fly away to the Egypt without letting, letting him know? Is the bird doing the right thing? Or if you were the swallow, what would you have done? Please, okay, just think of it and write down. So let's see what happens in the story. So, we are coming to know about a little match girl who has let her matches fall in the gutter and they are all spoiled. See, you can see this is a little match girl and she is looking quite upset as her matches has fallen into the gutter. Her father will beat her if she does not bring home some money. And she is crying. She has no shoes or stockings and her little head is bare. So the match girl's father will really beat her if she does not bring some money to the home. And that is why the match girl was crying. She had no shoes, no stockings and her head was also bare. Okay. Pluck out my other eye and give it to her. And her father will not beat her. So, the happy prince is requesting the little swallow to take out, take out his other eye, which is sapphire, and give it to the match girl. I will stay with you one night longer, said the swallow. But I cannot, I cannot pluck out your eye. You would be quite blind then. So you can see, as we were expecting, the swallow has agreed to stay with the happy prince. 
because swallow had a heart of gold you know the swallow was really really kind he did not worry about him feeling cold and not fly and he did not fly to egypt his friends were enjoying in egypt but he did not go he did not leave the happy prince and he says okay i will not i will not go to egypt and i will stay with you one night longer but i cannot pluck out your eye why because you will be quite blind then you can't see anything already one of your eye is gone and what will happen if the other way i will also go swallow swallow little swallow said the prince do as i command you so he plucked out the prince's other eye and darted down with it he swooped past the march girl and slipped the jewel into the palm of her hand so he did not want to take the jewel out of his eye but he has to do as he was commanded so he plucked out the sapphire and he slipped the jewel the sapphire into the palm of the little match girl so you can see how he has given a sapphire in her hand what a lovely bit of glass cried the little girl and she ran home laughing so the little girl she did not know what sapphire is probably she has never seen a sapphire in her life so as soon as she looks at the sapphire she says oh what a lovely bit of glass glass because she could not recognize that it's a sapphire cried the little girl and she ran home laughing she was crying before because the matches were spoiled now she is laughing she is happy because she knows that something good okay she is looking quite happy isn't it <laughs> then the swallow came back to the prince you are blind now he said so i will stay with you always so the swallow said to the prince that i have given the sapphire to the girl but prince you are blind you can't see anything so i will stay with you always do you notice this line he's saying that i'll stay with you always so he has dropped the idea of going to egypt he knows he knows that the prince has gone blind he can't see anything which is happening in his city earlier he used to see all the ugliness and misery of his city and he used to help them but he is saying that since you are blind now i will not leave you i will stay with you always do you see the giving nature of the uh, the little swallow how caring he was how kind hearted he was as he is saying that i will stay with you i will i will bear the cold you know no matter how cool he will feel he will stay with him always so this is something which we all should learn from this little bird you know little bird has taught us a lesson today that we should be so much sacrificing in nature you know to help others okay no little swallow said the poor prince you must go away to egypt so the prince is saying that no no need of staying with me always please go to egypt you must go to egypt no i will stay with you always said the swallow and he slept at the prince's feet so he said that no i will not go to egypt no way i will stay with you always he said these words and he slept at the prince's feet so students what do you think will happen in the story after this will the bird be strong enough to face the challenges which were about to come in his way you know birds are not very strong to face that cold chill weather so will he be able to face it or he will fly away to egypt to save his life or will he sacrifice his life for the happy prince so we'll see in the next part of this chapter so before we go we will discuss some of the questions the first question is why did the happy prince wanted to help the young playwright so you remember that i told you the young playwright he was 
he was trying to finish a play. So the answer is, the young playwright was trying to finish a play for the director of the theatre. But he was too cold to write any more as he had no fire in his grate. Looking at this, the happy prince became really sad. So he wanted to help the playwright. So you know the happy prince, he was very caring in nature. He was giving in nature. So he wanted to help the young playwright because he could not see the misery of the, of the young playwright. Second question. Why did the swallow cry when the happy prince asked him to pluck out one of the sapphires? The swallow cried when the prince asked him to pluck out one of the sapphires because the prince would go blind. The prince himself suffered too much so as to help the poor and needy people. So the prince was very kind. He was very kind-hearted. He wanted to sacrifice things for others. And that is why the swallow, want, swallow started to cry. Looking that, he will go blind. The third question. Why did the swallow not leave the prince and go to Egypt. The little swallow really wanted to go to Egypt to his friends. But every time as he was ready to fly, the happy prince asked him to stay and be his messenger. The swallow was very kind-hearted, so he could not say no to the happy prince. So he did not leave happy prince and flew to Egypt. Okay. I hope all of you are understanding the chapter. Okay? Yeah. Fourth question, the last question is, Who does the prince ask the swallow to deliver the red ruby to? The prince asked the swallow to deliver the ruby to a poor seamstress whose son was very ill. She had nothing to give him but water. Since the statue's feet were fixed to the pedestal, he could not deliver it himself. So he asked the swallow to do so. So uh, we have uh, come to this part of the story where the swallow decides to not to go to Egypt and stay forever with the happy prince. We will see how the story develops further and what happens at the end. Is it a happy ending or is it a sad ending? We will have to wait for the next part to know what the chapter has for us. Okay, students, till then, bye and take care of yourselves.